Today on Cruise Man's Garage, we're installing this Super Brace fork stabilizer onto this 2007 Suzuki DR650. Adding a Super Brace fork stabilizer to your Suzuki will help to eliminate fork flex. It improves the stability and reduces that annoying front end wobble, and it can even improve the tire life. Before getting started, make sure you have the correct super brace for your year and model motorcycle. Place the bike on the center stand and straighten the front wheel. Use a 10 mm socket to loosen the front axle pinch bolts. You don't need to remove these, just loosen them. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the gator retaining ring at the bottom of each fork gator. It's a good idea to use a damp paper towel or cloth to clean off any excess dirt or dust off the bottom of the gator. And as you lift it up, it's a good idea to go ahead and clean the top of the fork tube, uh, the area that was just underneath the gator. This prevents any additional dirt or dust from getting inside your fork seals. Using a five millimeter hex socket or wrench, you need to remove the four bolts that hold the two halves of the super brace together. Go ahead and separate the two halves and put the rear, the part with the bolts, off to the side. Position the front half of the super brace on top of the lower fork tube as shown. Now you can position the rear of the super brace in place so that it matches up with the front half. With the two halves together, you can now insert the four 5mm hex bolts as shown and hand tighten each one. You'll need a torque wrench to tighten each of these four bolts to 10 foot pounds. Now you can reposition the bottom of each gator over the flange on top of the super brace. Next, reinstall the gator retaining ring that we took off earlier using the Phillips screw. Don't forget to re-tighten your axle pinch bolts to factory specs. However, be very careful. The bolts are soft and can shear off very easily, so don't over-tighten these nuts. Compress the front fork several times to make sure nothing's in a bind. Mm -hmm. 